Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is A, B, D and E are loci on four separate autosomes if a cross of two genotypes is performed as uh, follows what a fraction of the progeny will question A have the genotype as follows so how we are going to solve this problem we have to pay attention that these four loci on four separate autosomes and that means that uh, these uh, genes uh, which gene A, B, D and E uh, would segregate independently and uh, once again we have uh, parent one here and gene A uh, in this parent is homozygous dominant. In parent 2 uh, gene A is heterozygous. So what is the probability that in the progeny uh, for this gene progeny would be heterozygous and we need to build a Punnett square so parent 1 is homozygous dominant and parent 2 is heterozygous so capital A and small a and when we build the Punnett square we can find probability for the progeny to be heterozygous so capital A capital A here capital A small a here capital A capital A here and capital A small a here and we are looking for the probability for the progeny to be heterozygous. As you see, probability would be uh, 50% or one half. So for uh, locus A for the gene A, probability of the progeny to be heterozygous is one half. And what is the probability for the gene B for the progeny to be homozygous recessive? And as you see, parent 1 is heterozygous, parent 2 for this gene also heterozygous. So capital B, capital B here, and capital B, capital B here. Once again, we built the Punnett square, and now let's find probability for this locus in the progeny to be homozygous recessive. So capital B, capital B here, capital B, small b here, capital B, small b here, and small b, small b here. As you see, this time probability for the gene B to be um, in homozygous recessive state in the progeny going to be one quarter. And now we have to uh, multiply this to independent probabilities but we have more genes for example gene D also uh, we are looking for the probability in the progeny to be homozygous recessive and parent 1 is heterozygous and parent 2 is uh, homozygous recessive and now let's build another Punnett square so parent 1 is uh, heterozygous for this gene so capital D and small d and parent 2 is homozygous recessive so small d, small d and once again we build a Punnett square and this time we have following probability so capital D, small d here, capital D small d here, small d, small d, small d, small d. So probability for the progeny to be homozygous recessive as you see would be 50% of one half. So we have to multiply by one half. And now let's take a look at the last gene E that parent one homozygous recessive and parent 2 is heterozygous so homozygous recessive and parent 2 heterozygous 
And once again we build the Punnett square. Not much space left. So capital E small e here, small e small e here, capital E small e here, and small e small e here. As you see, probability for the progeny to be heterozygous for the gene E uh, would be 50%. So 50% or one half. So we have to multiply by one half. And now we can give an answer. So one half multiplied by one quarter going to be one eighth. Multiplied by one half would be one sixteenth and multiplied by one half would be one over thirty two. And this is going to be probability uh, for these two parents if we cross them uh, to have this genotype and their progeny. So probability would be 1 over 32. If you need an answer in percentage form, you have to divide 1 by 32 and multiply the answer by 100. And you are going to get an answer in percentage form. Now let's take a look at the question B. Uh, what is the probability that progeny would have a phenotype uh, dominant for gene A, gene B and recessive for gene D? and E. So basically what um, dominant phenotype means here, this means that uh, genotype uh, at least have to have one dominant allele, another allele can be any, where is the dominant or recessive, still this is going to be dominant uh, phenotype. And what do we mean that uh, progeny have to be dominant phenotype for the gene B? Once again, one allele have to be dominant, another allele can be any. Dominant, capital or recessive uh, small b. We can put here and still this is going to be a dominant phenotype. And here um, phenotype recessive for the gene D only can mean one possible genotype uh, this uh, Individual, plant or animal, have to be homozygous recessive for the gene T in order to have a recessive phenotype. And the same we can say about gene E. Uh, this plant, individual, animal have to be uh, homozygous recessive for the gene E. So now let's find uh, probabilities using the same uh, Punnett squares that we used for calculations in order to answer the first question. So what is the probability that for the gene A uh, progeny uh, would be whether homozygous dominant or heterozygous? And as you see 100% of the progeny of such a cross would be of the dominant phenotype. So as you see, whether going to be homozygous dominant or heterozygous still, all of them would be of the dominant phenotype. So we can put one which represent 100%. And as for the gene B, what is the probability that the progeny would be homozygous dominant or heterozygous if we cross these two parents? And as you see, probability would be three quarters. So you have to multiply by three quarters and what is the probability that the progeny would be homozygous recessive for the gene D. And as you see probability is one half. So we have to multiply by one half and as for the uh, gene E probability uh, for uh, progeny to be homozygous recessive would be, as you see, also one half. So we have to multiply by one half. And the answer going to be three quarters multiplied by one half would be three eighths and multiplied by one half going to be three sixteenths. 
Again, if you need an answer in percentage form, you have to divide 3 by 16 and multiply by 100. So basically, this probability uh, tells us that uh, if we cross these two genotypes, probability that uh, we are going to get this phenotype in the progeny going to be 3 16 Or we also can say that uh, 3 16 of the progeny would belong to this phenotype. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.